Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video, we're going to learn about a second special logarithm called the natural logarithm. The natural logarithm is written as ln, and you want to be careful with your l's. They look like ones, so sometimes I write it like that in cursive. It's the logarithm whose base is the natural base e, and remember e is that number Euler's number 2.71828, it's an irrational number. It doesn't terminate, it doesn't repeat. Your calculator will have a built-in function for this as well. The first example we can do without the calculator, but I will show you how to do it on the calculator as well. Remember that ln, natural log of e to the seventh, is essentially log base e of e to the seventh, and so what that exponent means is e to what power gives you e to the seventh. We know that that should be, whoops, that's a funny way to write seven. Now, the um, thing that's important to remember here is that the natural logarithm and e are basically inverse functions of each other. And so what one does, the other undoes. So ln of e to the x is always going to be x. All right, let's try that one in the calculator first. And then we'll follow that up with the natural log of 2000 and also of 0 0.01. Clear all this from the previous one. The natural logarithm is also under functions in the Desmos calculator listed as ln right under e to the x on purpose. We're trying to find the natural log of e to the seventh power. So next I'll push that e to the x button go back to the main screen and push seven. And there we see the natural log of e to the seventh power is seven. The next one was the natural logarithm of 2000. So back to function, ln, back to main, 2000. Press enter and to three decimal places, that's 7.6000. So that is 7.600. The nine is too far away to round it up. Finally, we'll finish up with ln of 0 0.01. Function ln main 0 0.01. And there we've got negative 4.605 rounded to three places. Okay, that's it for the introduction to the natural logarithm. In the next video, we'll work on an application involving that.